Oh, let the centipede go, little kitty. It's not something to fiddle with, as it can be a little risky. Risky? Yes, and to understand the risk, let me address a painful question. What if a centipede bites you? Zoom in! Centipedes with their long segmented bodies and numerous legs are fascinating creatures found in diverse habitats, comprising more than 3,000 known species. Their sizes may vary greatly, ranging from the smallish house centipede measuring tiny fraction of an inch to the giant centipede, which holds the title of the largest among them all, reaching over a foot in length. Generally, these carnivorous arthropods snack on insects, spiders, and worms. However, at times, a hungry centipede doesn't mind hunting for prey 15 times larger than itself, like a mouse. They attack with the help of their venom glands, which paralyze the animal, making it easier for the centipede to have a feast. And this is where it gets risky. Yes, that's because even though they are creatures of the outdoors, commonly inhabiting gardens, forests and other natural settings, at times, while seeking shelter from extreme weather or pursuing prey, they enter our living spaces. You may find them under the floor or in the cracks of the walls. Mostly, centipedes are not aggressive toward humans and tend to run away from us. However, if someone accidentally steps on them or deliberately provokes them, these creatures won't shy away from defending themselves by biting the person. This can result in two red markings in a V-shape due to the arrangement of the insect's fossipules. Though this bite can be extremely painful, particularly when bitten by larger centipedes that tend to deliver more venom, fortunately, their venom is generally harmless to humans, causing only mild and temporary effects, which may go away in a few hours. However, bites from certain species, such as the Scolopendra genus, may lead to serious allergic reactions as well as cardiovascular and neurological effects in people due to the strong chemical composition of their venom, which contains substances such as serotonin, histamine and cardiodepressant toxin S. Soon the person may start to experience symptoms such as intense pain radiating from the bite site, swelling, nausea, dizziness, difficulty in breathing, rapid heart rate, and even fever and chills, along with a swollen throat and skin infections. In some extreme cases, the person may even experience memory disturbance and loss of consciousness. Fortunately, these serious conditions rarely occur, and for most centipede bites, the symptoms may resolve within a few hours to days, without causing any long-term effects. But in case you happen to get bitten by a centipede accidentally, make sure to remain calm as panicking can elevate your heart rate and increase the spread of venom throughout the body. Then, gently wash the bite area with mild soap and water to reduce the risk of infection. Afterward, apply a cold compress or ice pack to help relieve pain and swelling. Also remember not to scratch the bite as it can irritate the skin, making it easier for germs to get in. In case even after some time it still hurts a lot or you have trouble breathing, please visit your doctor ASAP. It's trivia time! Did you know that despite their name, which means a hundred legs, most species have between 30 and 354 legs. Also, centipedes are closely related to lobsters, shrimp and crayfish. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Sia Adriana. Hope you learned something helpful today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox, zooming out.
Mind it. <laughs>